Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at a former housekeeper at a luxury hotel who has been locked up and branded a poisonous drunk by a judge after she subjected her long-suffering boyfriend to a series of alcohol-fueled beatings. Natalie Lord, 44, stabbed Leith Gaynor in one attack and battered him over the head with a saucepan in another after she accused him of being unfaithful. Miss Lord was arrested again in 2019 after getting drunk and beating Mr Gaynor over the head with a weightlifter's dumbbell and then leaving him for dead in a pool of blood. The victim, who is in his 40s, lost consciousness during the assault and was woken up by the following day by his mother who went to visit him at his flat in Manchester. The victim suffered three quarters of an inch laceration to his left temple and a two inch wound to the back of his head. He also suffered multiple chest grazes, teeth marks on his chest and bruising to his hand. Mr Gaynor said, This last attack has left me feeling very depressed. I have forgiven Natalie too many times now and I do not want her to do it to anyone else. At Manchester Crown Court, Miss Lord of Salford admitted causing grievous bodily harm and was jailed for 27 months. Miss Lord was also banned from contacting Mr Gaynor for 10 years under the terms of a restraining order. Sentencing judge Hilary Manley told her this was a sustained attack and you have absolutely no excuse for committing it. You have a history of becoming violent in drink and you know alcohol is a poison for you. In September of 2019, while subject to a suspended sentence order, you chose to drink again with a predictable result. You attacked your ex-partner, a man you had wounded in 2016 with a knife. You are a poisonous drunk and you chose to be around him again. You have caused very nasty injuries to his head, face and arms. I am pleased to hear that you have been sober for 6 months while in custody and that you are determined to sort your life out. But at 44, it's now or never. Last year, you had an altercation with a neighbour and spat at her and you were convicted after a trial for that offence. You have reached the end of the road in terms of chances with the court. Earlier, the court heard Miss Lord and Mr Gaynor had been in a relationship for a number of years but it was said to be volatile, unpredictable and difficult at the best of times. Prosecutor Miss Amanda Johnson said one minute they could be laughing and joking and the next minute she could turn violent. Prosecutor Miss Amanda Johnson said one minute they could be laughing and joking and the next minute Miss Law could turn violent. Arguments over infidelity tended to be the lead to episodes of violence. There have been previous assaults by this defendant to the complainant and the first involved a knife where Miss Laws caused cuts to his chest and forearm. The second time, Miss Lord used a pan to strike Mr Gaynor to the head five times and used a glass object to hit him over the head with. Miss Lord says both times she only acted in self-defence. In this case, it was an unprovoked attack when she was under the influence of alcohol. The claimant suffered injuries to the back of his head while his back was turned in September of 2019. He had been out drinking and gone back to Mr Gaynor's flat. Mr Gaynor was sat on the sofa when Miss Lord accused him of being unfaithful. Then, while his back was turned, Miss Lord struck him to the head and forearms. He recalls waking up between his bathroom and the living room. Mr Gaynor described how his head felt like it was shaking and there was blood all over the floor. Mr Gaynor was woken up by his mother and he was confused and bewildered. In hospital, the defendant mentioned that Miss Lord had hit him with the dumbbell. When Miss Lord was arrested, she predominantly answered no comment in the interview. She said she did not call an ambulance because she said Mr Gaynor was fine. In mitigation for Miss Lord, defence counsel Ian Johnstone said both were drinking a lot of alcohol and there was an argument. Miss Lord accepts she hit him with something but does not recall what that was although she accepts the injuries caused him were her fault. It is clear that this is a defendant who was in a stable relationship until 2014 but Miss Lord for then for whatever reason got herself into poisonous relationships with people which involve drinking. Miss Lord has created a very chaotic lifestyle especially with Mr Gaynor. It was an on and off relationship when she has been drinking, she turns into a completely different person. Miss Lord is 44 now and she really is serious about tackling her substance abuse. She is serious about getting her life back together. Miss Lord has no intention of going back to her drinking ways of old. Miss Lord is capable of putting up quite a fight in drink. She is not a hopeless cause and has demonstrated she is capable of leading an honest life. 
Police investigating the latest beating of Mr. Gaynor in September 2019 discovered Miss Lord had a history of drink-related violence and had been flouting a suspended sentence order imposed for assault on three strangers in 2018. During that attack, Miss Lord had gone on a wild night out after she worked out at a shift at the four-star Principal Hotel in Manchester city centre, then became enraged at a woman speaking on a mobile phone in a foreign language as they and other commuters were waiting for a bus. Miss Lord shouted, I can understand you and you are slagging me off, you fucking foreigner, before turning on the victims. One female bystander was punched in the face twice before Miss Lord took on the victim's boyfriend when he tried to intervene. A third woman was slapped to the face and called a white ass pussy before Miss Lord was eventually apprehended by staff at Shud Hill Coach Station in Manchester. Miss Lord had also been convicted of attacking a neighbour in a separate incident whilst drunk. So what are your thoughts about Miss Lord and Mr Gaynor's relationship and how booze would ignite arguments between the pair which would lead to physical assault against Mr Gaynor leaving him battered and bruised? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.